So once I sand away all the dirt and the rough edges, I'm just using these little simple templates to get my rough shape of the letters down because I'm not artistic enough to do this freehand. So this gives me a rough pattern to follow with the router bit. So I'm coming back with my rigid trim router with a box core bit, quarter inch I believe. And I set my depth when I started, but as you can see as I go along, it's getting shallower and shallower. The bit was slipping in the collet and I didn't realize it, so I had to come back and go back over it and get a little bit deeper. I'm not trying for perfection here, just getting a rough outline. I'll come back with a straight bit and clean these up. Now I come back in with a quarter inch straight bit and just remove the waste from the middle of the letters. I'm, again, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just removing most of the material. I'll come back with one final pass to clean up all of the edges and get my final shape. Here I've come back and cleaned all the edges up and now we're ready for final sanding. The last step is to come in with some sandpaper by hand and smooth out the bottoms and remove any marks from the router bit and then just ease over the edges of the letters just a little bit so they're not sharp. There was a few areas that needed a little tension with the chisel to kind of clean them up. So this goes on for a while, I won't bore you with all of the sanding, but uh, this really gives it the finishing touch and makes it look nice. After trimming the sign to length, I didn't like this nice fresh clean cut in, so I put a braided wire wheel on the grinder and just roughed it up. Then came back with the torch just to kind of make the ends look dirty and aged again and then just kind of hit it with a little final sand so that it matched the rest of the sign. I was going to paint the inside of the letters but this wood is still a little bit wet from being outside and I didn't want any issues there so I just came back in with the torch just to get rid of that fresh clean wood look to darken it up a little bit. The idea with this sign was a rustic look and it's going to be outside, so this will age nicely. After burning the letters, the face has quite a bit of burn marks, so I'm just coming back with the sander and knocking some of that down, leaning a little bit because it gives it a nice aged look and nice contrast. And it's done, ready for install.